Hi, this is Dean, and today we're talking about how to remove mortgage insurance from your mortgage loan. Now, it depends on the type of loan that you have. If you have a government-insured loan, like an FHA or USDA loan, then the only way to get rid of mortgage insurance is to refinance out of it into a conventional loan. Now, we've been helping a lot of people with that recently because home values have been going up and we've been seeing interest rates drop from the point that they had originally. So we've been able to remove the mortgage insurance and even save them money on the actual payment itself. If you have a conventional loan, however, there's multiple options. One of course is refinancing, but you can also contact the servicer and ask them, will you remove my mortgage insurance? Now they won't do it if you've been making payments for less than two years. You have to have had the loan at least that long for them to even consider it but each servicer is gonna have their own guidelines and their own process for removing the mortgage insurance. But in general, it's going to look something like this. You're gonna pay for an appraisal, and that appraisal is gonna to determine today's market value, and the difference between that appraised value and what you owe is gonna be your equity. If that equity represents at least 20% of today's appraised value, then the servicer is in a position where they can consider dropping the mortgage insurance. Now remember, it's ultimately their decision. This mortgage insurance policy is in a policy that you're paying to protect them in case you default. So they have to be very comfortable with you as a client and the number of payments that you made and on time in order for them to consider this. But follow the processes and see what they say. Now the last option on this with a conventional loan is to refinance out of this loan into a new one. Now, if rates have dropped, that might be a good option. You might be considering doing a rehabilitation loan and doing some improvements to the home, or maybe you're wanting to pull some cash out and pay for some other debts or pay for college, things like that. There's some other scenarios where refinancing might make sense, especially if rates have dropped. But every scenario is different, and that's why we encourage you to give us a call. Let's talk about your scenario, see what might make sense, and we can help point you in the right direction. This is Dean Hayes, and we'll talk to you soon.